Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this particular video, we are going to learn that how to build a simple timer using JavaScript. Like a stopwatch that counts seconds, right? So it is a very beginner friendly project and it is useful in many different projects also like quizzes, countdown uh, or fitness app, right? So let's get into it and understand that how we can create it, right? So let's start with your HTML part. Right, so first what I will do, I will name this document as timer, right, okay fine. Now let's uh, create h2 and write the timer and then a span, I will use a span here. Inside the span, uh, first I will give it a id that is a display, right, display and now I am going to write the zero here, after that after this i will write seconds like this right let's go on our website okay timer zero seconds fine now after this i will create three different buttons button first button is what your start right and here i will write button and it is like a uh, stop and then again a button and here i will write reset reset right uh, let's give it that okay let me do this later and how it is looking okay it is looking good okay fine now going to the script part going to the javascript part i will write script here and inside of this now we are going to write our javascript i'm not going to work on the css that's your task fine my my work and uh, my aim is just to explain you the whole functioning that how we can create it right so let's give a variable name second equals to zero and let timer equals to null right fine so we are initially taking a second as zero and the timer as the null because the timer is not running the, for that we are going to use i will explain later right so first create a function function name is update display and here we are going to create it like this and document i'm going to use the dom document dot get element by id i'm going to get the element by id and the element name is what element name is this particular display right i'm going to use this here i'm having the zero night so i want that whenever the timer will start the value of zero key get changing so for that reason i'm going to use this i will call it by get element by id that is display and then i will say that text content text content right equals to seconds this second so since your seconds is zero if i change it to one and reload it okay nothing happened oh because we have not called this particular function uh okay wait let's do one thing that before uh before starting that we will create another function that is function and start timer right like this and now inside of this i will say that if if timer equal equals to uh, triple equals to null in that case you do what you say timer equals to set interval then put a bracket here and create an arrow function inside of this i will say that second plus plus right and update discipline fine okay i think it is uh, okay now here we will write 1000 1000 is what your milliseconds that is one second actually right it is your one second like this fine now you have made this start timer and after this when we will say that stop timer like function and say stop timer bracket and 
inside of this i will say clear interval i will say that clear like whatever the timer is running just made it zero right the timer clear interval timer so your timer wo uh, was null initially and now we are clearing this particular timer this one you can see right okay fine now after this uh, clearing i will again say that the timer is equals to null right timer is not having any a set interval or anything fine now coming forward coming forward to one more function that is for your reset timer will i write i will write function reset timer i'll put a bracket here inside of this i will say stop timer and then put a bracket now this is what when you click on the reset timer it is okay fine uh wait 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 uh, when we are saying that i am starting the stop timer at that time it is making the timer as null and then we are when we are starting this reset timer in that case it will do what it will do that seconds is equals to zero right and update display we will call these functions you can see if i go to my website and reload it okay there is one more mistake that we have done is basically we have not called the function we have not called the function that is on click and in on click i will say start time right and in this second button of stop uh we will write the stop time and in this button basically uh on click it will do the reset timer like this and is it working fine i think so let's reload it and let's check by clicking on start so yeah it has started the timer right as you can see the number is changing continuously right uh let's stop it it is not stopping not even getting reset why let's check okay fine uh, we have not put the bracket here right now let's go to the uh, website again and again click on start so you can see the timer is starting from second why because we had put the seconds value equals to 1 right let's put it 0 here you can see 0 now when i click on start it is 1 2 3 4 5 like this when i click on this stop you can see now it has stopped to the 7th second right now when you i click on this reset the values again get to 0 how it is working what is the logic behind it well I have put this zero as this presentation as the like main screen where I'm getting the timer right and on this particular button when we are clicking on it we are starting the timer and this start timer function is getting called and what this start timer is having it is having that whether the timer is null or not if the timer is null like it is not having any uh, set interval inside of it in that case uh, you do what you uh, put the set interval inside of it and uh, start increasing the seconds the so second value is zero but the second value is now increasing and update the display every time this particular like it, it start running every time when the seconds get changed and again this interval run you update this display you call this function and in this particular function we are changing the text content and the text content is changing with the help of the second and as the second value is changing it the number get increased every time now in this particular stop timer function when we are clicking on this button this uh, this particular function is getting called and you can see it is doing what it is clear interval clear interval means it is removing this particular set interval from this timer right this clear interval is doing this now by doing this we are now putting this timer equals to null again the timer is now null and what the stop timer is doing it is actually stopping this uh changing of the second every time when this uh interval is running it has stopped that uh, but the value of seconds didn't stop 
by means the value of second whatever the value of second has been increased that value is still getting showed you can see it is getting showing me the 4 because we have not put the second equals to 0 but in the reset timer function we are actually doing what we are first removing the set interval from the timer and then we are putting the second equals to 0 and then we are again updating the display like this when I click on this reset you can see the timer is now what zero right so this is this is what our whole timer code has the logic right so i hope you understood the concept very clearly this is was the very basic project which will help you to understand about how to use the function how to uh, use this set interval and how to use the clear interval and how to work with it right and also these uh, on click functions right so thank you so much for watching. We will meet in the next video very soon. Till then, goodbye.